Hello, Sister Ella here, Salesian sister. Well, I didn't mark the Feast of St. John Bosco on the Feast of St. John Bosco, which was the last day of January. But today, here in Easter House, we have the former pupils, past pupils, um, of uh, the Salesian College in Shrigley. There are many, many, many Scottish boys uh, attended there and many of them went on to become Salesian priests and many of them didn't but they are wonderful men great great dads and granddads and uh, always very loyal to the Salesians and they have a great love and a great loyalty to the Salesian spirit and they come annually around about the Feast of St. John Bosco to have Mass here in our parish, which is St. John Bosco. I have a picture here of Don Bosco. And somebody said, that's a face of which I would never be afraid. I wonder why that would be. Well, this morning we had celebrating uh, Mass. We had two Salesians con-celebrating and Father Michael Wynn Stanley, who's been uh, provincial in charge of the Salesians in, in uh, Britain, twice, and he preached. And his, he was preaching about the loving kindness of Don Bosco, loving kindness. And he was pointing out that really that is the secret. That's what will save our world our world is in such a state of with turmoil at the moment. Loving kindness. And it begins with us. It begins with us. And if we can do that in our families, in, in our communities, in our workplaces, if we can spread that loving kindness. Don Bosco was all about preparing good Christians, citizens of this world, preparing to be citizens of the next world, preparing for life eternal, what we were created for. When the Lord made us, he made us good enough to last forever. And that is what Don Bosco and his Salesians are all about. In 137 countries across the world, that's the Salesians, that's our big brothers, but Don Bosco also started our sisters to do the work for girls, which the Salesian fathers and brothers were doing for boys. And we're in 97 countries, but all of us are trying to be those good Christians, citizens of this world, preparing for the next. St. John Bosco, pray for us.